The house is in need of repair, but is, for now, she says, still hers. After the storm, she laid hands on what she could reclaim. The iron table and chairs etched with rust, the dresser laced with mold. Y'all still working on trying to get it clean? So excuse my house. Four years gone, she's still rebuilding the shed out back. To be honest with you, if it wasn't for the volunteers, I would not be in my house. And sorting through boxes in the kitchen, a lifetime of bills and receipts, deeds and warranties, notices spread on the table, a barrage of red ink, past due. Now, the house is a museum of everything she can't let go. A pile of photographs fused and peeling, water stains blurring the handwritten names of people she can't recall. A drawer crowded with funeral programs and church fans, rubber bands and paper sleeves for pennies, nickels, and dimes. What stops me is the stack of tithing envelopes. Reading my face, she must know I can't see why, even now, she tithes why she keeps giving to the church. You have to know that God is there. It's hard because you're, you're, he's there. He's not here. First, seek the kingdom of God, she tells me, and the rest will follow. Says it twice, as if to make a talisman of her words. I have to remind myself, too blessed to be stressed. Inverse comes to you from Public Radio Makers Quest 2.0, an initiative of AIR, the Association of Independence and Radio, Incorporated. This project is made possible with funding from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.